may be on the trailer channel, I do want to let you know that Morning Movie News will take Thursday and Friday off and return in full Monday, December first. Uh, now, as I said, this is an incredibly big weekend here in the United States, not just for shopping, but movie going. Uh, it kicks off the entire holiday season, uh, and there are plenty of movies that are hitting theaters, not just blockbusters, but also, of course, awards contenders. And awards contenders are the focus of our first news story of the day, and that's that the Spirit Award nominations were announced, uh, and it gives us a little clearer picture of our uh, potential Oscar contenders. Now, the uh, Spirit Awards are for independent film, uh, but not so much independent film uh, as cheaply made films. The cutoff point to be considered for uh, an independent spirit award is 20 million. Your budget must be below 20 million. So films like Inherit Vice, Fox Capture, although both of those have gotten, uh, you know, kind of like honorary awards from the, uh, the Spirit Awards, I guess they want to make sure that they, they vouch for those films. But for instance, Grand Budapest Hotel couldn't compete because it cost uh, about 30 million to make. So that's the cutoff point. But the Spirit Awards, they're important, just like the Gotham Awards, just like we can pay attention to the specialty box office, just to see which movies have some heat uh, that are being recognized by not only audiences, but by the Hollywood community that's going to need to vote for them down the line for those really important Golden Globe and Oscar nominations. Okay, so what are the, what are the big takeaways from the Spirit Awards? Uh, award nominations. We'll do good news, pretty good news, and not so good news. So let's start out with the good news. Uh, Birdman continues to be a force to be reckoned with, and I'm so happy because that's still my favorite movie of the year. I think it's a really intelligent uh, comedy and commentary on Hollywood today, and of course, who isn't excited for the return of Michael Keaton? Uh, that led the Spirit Award nominations with six Six nominations, uh, including Best Picture, uh, also Best Actor for Michael Keaton, Emma Stone, Director, Cinematography. Uh, I think I would expect to see it represented in these categories at uh, the Golden Globes and the Oscars as well. Uh, maybe not as uh, as much, but I don't know. I think Birdman's a very strong contender, and I think anyone who's seen it will agree with me on that. It's really that good. Uh, and it's getting, thankfully, the recognition it deserves. There's always some fear that the movies that, uh, that we love uh, won't be noticed uh, by the powers that be. They won't get on their radar. That's the whole point of campaigners, uh, for the, the studio hires to promote these movies. And it looks like the Birdman uh, campaign crew is doing a, an excellent job. So Birdman really gaining a lot of momentum, performing pretty well at the box office, uh, slowed down a little bit as we discussed in Movie Math this week, but still, Birdman uh, has a very clear shot at being an Oscar contender. Very exciting. And this should also make a lot of you happy. Uh, I didn't love the film. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. But that's Boyhood. Boyhood is also a strong contender. Uh, also no, uh, noticed at the Gotham Awards, did very well at its box office, uh, and now has nominations here at the Spirit Awards. Uh, this is a summer holdover. I think that this and Grand Budapest Hotel will be the big summer holdovers from earlier in the year, and it's nice to see that Boyhood has not been forgotten. It's, a, it's somewhat of a mainstream film, beyond the idea of watching this actor literally grow up, so it's great to see Richard Linklater uh, recognized here. Although he did, uh, Bernie did get a lot of traction itself for one of his previous films with Jack Black and Matthew McConaughey, so uh, I think Richard Linklater has a good uh, relationship with the uh, with the Hollywood voting community. So that's great. Boyhood, also on track. Now here's a nice surprise. Selma it was very well recognized by the Spirit Awards in terms of nominations. Uh, I reviewed the trailer. I said I thought it looked a little bit too much like a TV movie, but this is very promising for the film going forward. Uh, this is an Oprah Winfrey produced film. She did not have so much luck with The Butler. That was completely shut out of awards season, even though it did very well at the box office. And I thought it was a great movie, but it just didn't have the momentum necessary. I guess she's fixed whatever problems there were in her own uh, awards campaign office, and it looks like Selma is doing much better, at least so far. It's really out of the gate. Uh, not even out of the gate. This is like almost like it's pre-show, uh, and then it's, it's not going to be playing until very close to the end of the year. Just really a qualifying run. You have to. That's why a lot of movies you'll find will play for just a, on a couple of screens right at the end of the year, and then they'll go wide in January and hopefully capitalize on a bunch of award nominations. That's a really old-time uh, game plan for uh, awards contenders. So, but Selma on the board, very good for that film. Uh, then also kind of good. Let's go, move into the kind of good category. Uh, Whiplash. Whiplash was uh, recognized in a number of categories, but I think it's pretty clear it's not going to win very many of them. So I think Whiplash is a film that is importantly getting the recognition that it should get and it was expected for it to get being so hot out of Sundance but I think that it doesn't have enough strong momentum to make the cut when you start bringing in the big studio pictures for Oscars and Golden Globes so I, I wouldn't be surprised if it got one or two nominations but don't expect Whiplash to be a strong contender most likely not to really win anything even here uh, then also kind of good news for Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler got a lot of recognition here. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal uh, and its uh, writer, director Dan Gilroy, both of them got uh, uh, nominations here. That's very uh, exciting for the film. Uh, I missed it due to, uh, you know, my, my big uh, House of Horrors legendary YouTube crossover uh, video that I was making at the time. Uh, I, I regret it. I'm hoping to catch it uh, soon. But a lot of you have spoken very highly of the film. It's done not very well at the box office at all, so it's great that uh, it's not been forgotten by the industry, and hopefully it'll just keep chugging along. And If it can only just get some nominations, that's the name of the game for Nightcrawler. I don't think it's going to win. If it could win something, that would be amazing, but I just don't think it can compete with Birdman and Boyhood and it looks like Selma. But that's what Nightcrawler needs to do. It needs to just keep at least landing those nominations to, to remind people that it exists and that maybe they should go and check it out and to help Jake Gyllenhaal and Dan Gilroy with their next project.
projects. Now, what, what is the bad news coming out of the Spirit Award nominations? Well, we'll get to the worst thing last, because it's so bad. Uh, but for instance, Wild was shut out, although I don't think that's very surprising. I think Reese Witherspoon really isn't a career rut. She's having a lot of problems. Uh, there's a big story yesterday about how she's trying to launch a TV show uh, with David E. Kelly. Well, like a TV miniseries with David E. Kelly and Nicole Kidman. We'll see what network picks it up. Uh, I would be surprised if, uh, I don't think there would be that much of a bidding frenzy, because as I said, Reese Witherspoon is just not a hot property anymore. So, and again, she can't even get this awards contender off the ground, despite having the same director as Dallas Buyers Club. Uh, Begin Again, the Keira Knightley Mark uh, Ruffalo film. Uh, a lot of people had real grassroots support for this film. It has not helped it. Not recognized. Big Eyes. That's the Tim Burton, Amy Adams, Christoph Waltz movie coming out just in time for an awards qualifying run. Uh, also, not doing well. Only a screenplay nomination here. I think the most interesting thing is that movie was made for under $20 million. Uh, It looks like it's a good thing because it, the buzz on it is apparently not good and it's not getting the nominations it needs to move forward. And then also, Bill Murray was not recognized for his role in St. Vincent, but I think he's got enough of a win there uh, with the box office rewards there. That it's been such a strong box office contender and been consistent. I think that's nice for Bill Murray's career going forward. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a nomination from the Golden Globe.